after speaking about what is stability in my previous lecture I would like to speak on what stability information should be provided to the ship's master in many documents in many uh, instruments it is written say for example chapter 2 1 of Sula says that the stability information that is provided to the master should be such that the master is able to make an accurate assessment of the ship stability by rapid and simple means in any service condition and I would say also in any impaired condition including uh, damage stability situation. Even Merchant Shipping Act says the same thing. The stability information that is provided to the ship should be such that master is able to make an accurate assessment of the ship's stability by rapid and simple means. Accurate assessment of the stability that means the master is able to gauge the stability health of the ship just by looking at something. So what is that single thing which determines the overall stability of the ship is not the GM. GM is not good enough. So everybody wonders like what is that which should be provided to the ship. When a master goes on the ship, what is that he should look into the ship's document so that he is satisfied as per Merchant Shipping Act Directive or as per the Solus Chapter 2 1. So when I uh, thought about this particular thing, then I realized that what is that single thing with which the master would be happy that yes the stability of the ship is okay acceptable legally acceptable so that single thing is the set of GZ curve and the accompanying intact stability criteria or in case of damage ship, the damage stability criteria, in case the ship has loaded grain, the grain stability criteria. That means the master need not look at the calculation every time. He just knows that the ships, in his convenience, that the ships present GZ curve is like this and the respective criteria are like this and the ship is satisfying the criteria. So the shape and size and stretch of the GZ curve is a good idea for the master to determine if the ship's health, the stability health is good or not. So please remember when you go on the ship, think the various conditions in which the vessel could be loading, the various conditions including the, the dry condition, including the ballast passage condition, part loaded condition, in every condition where the ship can be. Do you have the calculations done that you want to see the GZ curve and the respective criteria? Suppose the chief officer has done a particular loading of iron ore, you would ask mate, okay, from the loading and stability manual, which particular condition you are following? So the condition which he is following for the cargo and the bunker ballast, etc is that particular condition. Master just looks at the GZ curve. Yes, loading is asked for this condition. GZ curve, okay, looks healthy. Criteria satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. Even just the GZ curve's appearance should caution the master. For example, if you call this a healthy GZ curve, what is the problem with this GZ curve? Initial GM very low, looks very low. What is the problem with this GZ curve? Initial GM very steep and the highest GZ not occurring at reasonably mediocre angle. It is occurring very fast and then stooping down. When the ship is rolling, pitching in bad weather, normally we are fighting with 35 to 25 to 35 degrees roll. It is that range in which the GZ has to be good. And mind you, this is the GZ curve, the curve of statical stability. Why this is called the curve of statical stability, we will probably uh, 
deal in some other class, but at the moment, just understand that at least the static stability should be good in the range of 25 to 35 degrees. The curve which is going very high up initially and then suddenly going down is not so good. Probably the area under the curve also is not good enough till say 30 degrees and till 40 degrees or between 30 and 40 degrees. Then this is the curve for the listed ship. This is the curve for angle of law. That means initial GM is negative. So all these curves, they have something to speak. They have something to convey. So one look at the curve and adjacent criteria is the minimum which a master wants in any condition so that he can make a quick assessment, an accurate assessment by rapid and simple means. Rapid and simple are not the casual terms. Rapid and simple are the terms used in these documents. Rapid means fast and simple means not complicated. That means rapid and simple means user friendly. So I hope you have understood what kind of stability data should be provided to the ship's master.